Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-March 2022 reading for the Zodiac Sign of Aries. Totally fine if you find this video a few days before the middle of the month or a few days after the middle of the month. You'll find it when you need it. I do recommend you check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you the meaning of the tarot cards as well as any intuitive messages that you may receive. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me really greatly. Also, when you subscribe, you'll be notified when I post content in the future, and I usually post a couple Aries videos a month. With that being said, let's go and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up coming to a close. Column number two, we're going to take a look at what's going to happen through the end of March. We're going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guide. We're also going to do your crystal of the month, three yes or no questions, and a healing note. Well, let's jump in. We're going to pull a summary card here. We have the card magnetism. Magnetism is a really good card. It's about attracting things to you that, that you want. Um, very much so a card of manifesting. So likely you've been able to attract some things to yourself in the last few weeks. You might not even have known that yet. Um, but you're pulling those things in that you've really been wanting. So let's see what messages we have here that I can share with you. The first card that we have is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of self-defense and having to protect yourself. Um, so I feel like a lot of you have just been in this self-defense position. You see you have one wand here, but there's six other wands that are kind of coming after you. Fortunately, this is what's wrapping up, coming to a close, so if it hasn't ended yet for you, it's going too soon. The next card that we have is the Four of Wands, or excuse me, the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is a card of needing to rest, retreat, renew. Um, it's a very tired card. Um, makes sense that you're tired because you've been dealing with the Seven of Wands, having to defend yourself. Then at the bottom, though, we have the Ace of Wands, and anytime we have an Ace card, it, Ace cards are a card of newness, um, specifically Ace of Wands is a new project, new inspiration, new urge to create, um, and I do, like I said, with that magnetism card, I feel like you've been attracting this to you, this is something you've been wanting and working on for a while, Aries. So let's see what messages I can give you here. The first card that we have is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is about healing, about being supported. Um, I feel like some of you need to heal from kind of this self-defense position, which makes sense with that Four of Swords. It's like you're really tired from all that's been going on. The next card we have is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of really low feelings. If you take a look at this card, this person is laid down and then there are ten swords stuck into them. It's paired with the four of swords, so overall really low, tired feelings. Um, this is a card of like endings though, uh, which is good. Again, it's like a burnout ending, but when things end, that means we get to move on to new things, which is really good. Um, so there's an ending of this tired and low feelings coming for you. And at the bottom we have the five of pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is a card of worrying, and for a lot of you it seems like you've been worrying about this new beginning, this new thing with the Ace of Wands, and you're like, when is it coming? Um, so I'm just getting worried energy, like you've been hyper-focused on this one thing and concerned about whether it's coming or not. But again, with magnetism, this is like confirming that you have been attracting things to yourself, so don't worry. Make sure you're attracting the right things. So now let's go into column number two, which is going to be what's coming for um, the rest of March for you. We have the card expectation. Um, the message that I'm getting right off the bat here, Aries, is make sure you're living up to your own expectations. But let's see what messages we get. The first card we have is the Knight of Wands. This is about being very free-spirited and very creative. Um, closely aligns with this Ace, Ace of Wands. Um, this new thing needs to be creative for you. Um, you need to, again, be meeting your own expectations with this new thing. Like, 
maybe you're not being as creative as you should be maybe you're thinking more closed-minded about something than you should be again i don't feel like you're meeting your own expectations here the next card that we have is the devil card the devil card is a card of addiction greed envy materialism obsession um, when i see the devil card it's a warning to not be obsessed about something um so again i do feel like some of you are hyper focused on this one thing and you were kind of burnt out with everything else that was going on but good things are coming for you you just need to remember to not be too worried about it then we have the three of swords the three of swords is a card of low feelings it can be a card of heartbreak loss um sadness the thing with the three of swords though this is a card of like taking the the sword out of your own heart to heal um so this is doing that healing on your own oftentimes aries again pulling the sword out of your own heart but let's see what other kind of messages i can provide you going into the end of the month the first card we have is the high priestess um this is a card of trusting your intuition I feel like you know what you need to do. Just make sure you're giving the energy to it. Make sure you're actually putting in the work areas. You do have this new opportunity. You've been asking for it. You've been trying to attract it to yourself. Now, again, you need to make sure that you're meeting your own expectations. Trust your intuition and put in that time and work. The next card we have is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles um, is a card of wanting long-term security. It is also can potentially be a card of greed. So you do have two greed cards here. However, I don't know that's necessarily the message I'm getting, Aries. I think that you just really want this new thing to exceed your expectations. You want it to be everything that you've been worried about it being. Um, again, I feel like this is hyper-focused energy and like almost obsessing over something. So I hear loud and clear that you're like focused long term and you really want this thing to happen again make sure you're trusting yourself be creative and make sure you're putting in the time and effort to it there and at the bottom we have the ace of swords um the ace of swords again anytime we have an ace card is a card of newness um, but this is about new ideas new mental clarity and i think that you are going to enter into this period where like you're going to be doing healing for yourself you're gonna get new clarity on an, an event that was making you sad um, which is a good thing because then it's gonna enable you to heal Aries now let's move into our next column which is anything related to money so job career finances businesses you run uh, investments anything of that sort and let's see what messages we have really good money cards in our money column the first card that we have is the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is one of my favorite cards in the entire deck this is a card of good fortune it's a card of luck um, it's a card of turning point we have the wheel here but overall the, the wheel of fortune is a card of money so i love seeing a money card in the money column um, for those of you that have had some financial struggles this could be a turning point as well um, but overall good money card the next card we have is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is multitasking. Um, you see this person is like trying to juggle everything that they have going on. I do think that the remainder of this month, Aries, is going to be pretty busy for you. Like you're going to have a lot to juggle and a lot to do. Um, just keep that in mind. Your workload might be a little heavy or maybe you're working and running your own business on the side. I just feel like you're managing a lot going into the end of the month. The next card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The P Queen of Pentacles is a really good card. It's a card of being resourceful. So when we see in the money column, it's good because being resourceful with your money is important. Um, overall, when I see in the money column, it's just like a good, it's a good card to have um, in terms of money. Let's clarify this column though and see what other messages we have. First, we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a new project or a creative idea. Um, so likely you could be taking on something new as it relates to work. You might have a new business idea. You might have a new idea of how to be doing something when it comes to money. Um, you could be at a turning point too where you're entering into this new chapter. But I do think whatever this new thing is, it's going to be really, really good, especially paired with the Wheel of Fortune card. Um, so a good money card. So this new thing will lead to money. 
The next card we have is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is uh, like Princess or Prince Charming. Think knight in shining armor type vibes. Um, very romantic, but it's also a card of proposal. So there could be some sort of new business proposal coming in um, or some sort of new relationship. Let's put it on top of the Two of Pentacles, which again is just multitasking. Um, but hopefully that means that there'll be some support coming in for you, Aries, too, with this new person, this new proposal. Then at the bottom we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a great card. Um, the Nine of Cups is wishes coming true. It's a card of material abundance. So again, in the money column, it's a really strong money card to have because it means physical money. Um, and it's on top of the resourceful card. So just two really good money cards at the bottom. The Nine of Cups is also about wishes coming true. So again, be focused on what you want with that magnetism card. But whatever you want in the money realm will definitely come to you, Aries. Now let's take a look at our fourth column, which is anything related to love, think family, friends, relationships, children, anything of that sort. And the first card we have is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, anytime we have an Ace card, is a card of newness. In this case, there's a new idea or new mental clarity. I do think some of you are healing from relationship with the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords here previously. But again, you have some sort of new clarity that's going to enable you to do something new. Um, so good card to have. The next card we have is the Death card. The Death card doesn't actually mean death, but it does indicate a change. Um, it could indicate an ending or time to move on or really some sort of transformation. Some of you could be healing from a past relationship, or for some of you, you could be ending a relationship. If you're in a relationship and it's a good relationship, I do think that this could be transformation too, like going from uh, being in a relationship to being engaged or being married. So it could indicate like a major milestone. But again, for some of you, this could be relationship ending or kind of moving on. Then at the bottom, we have the Nine of Cups again. Again, this is a card of wishes coming true. Um, whatever you want, you can have. So when you think about love, just know that you can have it. Whatever you want with money, you can have. And whatever you want with love, you can have, Aries. Um, Nine of Cups is also a card of good health, too. So if you've had any family members um, in ill health or if you've been in ill health, it's a good card to have as well. Definitely better health coming on the horizon for you or that family member. But now let's clarify this card, this column and see what other messages we have. The first card we have is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is about having two choices, multitasking, weighing options. Um, so this is kind of like juggling, um, trying to figure out <coughs> the right option, right thing to do. In terms of it being paired with the Ace of Swords, which is again that new idea, that new mental clarity, this is like saying that you need to kind of process all of the information is the message I'm getting. Um, this is lots of things coming in, lots of things to think about. Not necessarily options, but it's just a lot. And it's about being able to process those things so you can have this new beginning and this new mental clarity as it relates to love. The next card we have is the Hangman. The Hangman's an interesting card. It's kind of quite literally what it shows. You see this person is hanging there by their foot upside down. Um, it's very stagnant, like you're basically hanging there waiting for more information. Um, I feel like some of you have been waiting for this transformation, waiting for this time to end the relationship or heal, or maybe you've been waiting to get engaged or married. Um, this is just some sort of indicator of waiting, uh, but on top of the transformation card, I feel like that waiting is over and now is time. But I feel like this is just showing that this has taken some time. Then at the bottom we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a card of having to make a decision. Sometimes it feels like a compromise, uh, but decision is kind of the big thing here. Like, I feel like you need to decide to process these things so you can have this new clarity in the beginning. You need to decide to take action with the Death card. You need to decide on what you want with the Nine of Cups so you can I guess essentially manifest or attract to you whatever you want in the love column. Um, this is like making the decision to do all of these things, Aries. 
Now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. The first card that we have is perspective. Um, so going into the end of March, I think you'll have a new perspective on something. That's kind of broad to say, I realize, but new perspective coming your way. But let's see what messages we have associated with this card. The first card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles um, is a good card. It's very much a money card. This is a card of luxury, self-sufficiency. It could also be a card of financial gain. Um, I feel like you're going to get some new perspective by doing something on your own, Aries. That's the message that's coming through. Definitely there could be some financial gain for some of you too. But again, the perspective piece is tying in on the fact that like you're going to do something on your own and you'll gain perspective by going through this by yourself. The next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. This is very reliable, very patient, very hardworking. Um, so anything major that you're working on, you need to continue to keep working towards. Um, stay reliable, stay patient, stay hardworking. Now you've officially had both of my favorite cards in this reading. So at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Cups. This is my favorite card in the entire deck. We have a rainbow with all the cups full. There's a happy couple, kids playing, grass is green, there's water running, there's a house in the background. Ten of Cups is my favorite card in the entire deck, but it's a card of family, contentment, total love, and support. Um, I feel like this is going like processing some of the things that you have going on. It's going to give you a new perspective and enable you to have these financial gains and have the self-sufficiency. Um, it's going to continue to make you patient and hardworking. And in the end, it's going to give you that everything card, that everything that you want, Aries. But let's confirm and see what messages I can give you here. The first card we have is the lover's card. Um, this is a card of love, partnership, deep love. Sometimes it's a choice, um, but it talks about having strength as well. It's interesting because I feel like you've always thought that you needed somebody else Aries, to go through whatever you're going through. Um, and this is kind of saying that like you can be self-sufficient. The next card that we have is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is about leaving a legacy, retirement, inheritance. You do have some money cards here, but when we see the Ten of Pentacles, this is like long term. Um, so I'm getting the message that with that Knight of Pentacles, like staying patient, staying persistent, staying hardworking, staying reliable is going to get you to this long term place that you want to be. Then at the bottom here, we have the Five of Swords. Um, this is a card of not very good relationships. So think bully, theft, violence, sometimes abusive relationships. Um, is moving on past this. Maybe you didn't have the perspective even that this wasn't a good relationship, but it's paired with like the ultimate relationship, that total love, support, contentment. Um, so a lot of you are going out of this phase and into that Ten of Cup phase, which is huge. So now at this time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the four of hearts. This is number 17 card. Um, that's going to be a yes. Question number two is the two of hearts. This is number 19 card. That's also going to be a yes. And for question number three, we have the five of spades. This is number six card. That one's going to be a no. So you have yes, yes, no, Aries. Now we're going to take a peek at your crystal of the month. So if you watched your earlier video, we did pull a card from this healing stones deck. Keep this crystal with you for the month of March. You had sapphire, which is for spirituality, wisdom. Um, it really helps with profound spiritual experiences, which I would think would be good with all of you got going on. And this always makes sure that you're in the right place at the right time. And last but not least, we're going to do a card from our healing notes deck because we can all always use more healing. Your note says, at the end of the day, all you need is hope and strength. Hope that it will get better and strength to hold on until it does. Thank you so much, Aries, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, when you subscribe, that helps me dearly, um, but you'll be notified when I post future videos. Also, if you feel inclined to include my Venmo in the comments box, 
if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you, Aries, and have a wonderful rest of your March.